What's going on everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFiles.com, recap of the news, and in this video we got a lot of good stuff to talk about. I know, I know, I know. I say that a lot, but since I missed so many uploads last week, I'm going to combine some of last week's news as well as keeping up with the current news into one video. As well, this will be me elaborating on a few more things. Maybe you saw it, maybe you didn't, but there is a lot of new news in this video. Now, before I give you a quick breakdown, greatly appreciate a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed yet, make sure to hit the red button below. Got a lot more coming this week. Now, from Jordan Brand, we have to talk about the potential upcoming Off-White Air Jordan 5 collaboration. There is a new Air Jordan 4 that features pony hair. And then we have a release date for the Air Jordan 13 Flint. There's a lot more from Jordan Brand, a lot from Nike, and a few things from Adidas. And now without wasting too much more of your time, let's jump into the news. I am now convinced that Adidas along with Kanye West is releasing a biblical pack which will consist of three colorways of the Yeezy Boost 350 V2. Now what I've noticed is that the nicknames for these shoes or what they're being called, not all of them are exactly on point with how they're spelled, but I believe that's just Kanye's way of playing off the name. In this video, we're going to showcase two of them. And first up is the Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Yeshaya. Now, I do apologize if I mispronounce that, but doing a quick Google search, the name Yeshaya means God is salvation and is of Hebrew origin. Yeshaya is a name that's been used by parents who are considering baby names for boys. Now, shown is a Photoshop and it's supposed to look like this. However, it's very possible it could look different. I just saw an image floating around of a sample. I'm not sure if that was real or fake, so I didn't want to include it, but it looks almost on point with the Photoshop. In addition, there's going to be a reflective and non-reflective version, and the pair is expected to feature mainly purple throughout. We'll also have some reflective detailing and yellow on the toe and heel. Last up is a black stripe running throughout. With that being said, we don't have a set release date, but this pair is expected to drop during January. So obviously we're going to get more Yeezy Boost 350 V2 releases in 2020, not just the V3. Also, retail price will be 220. Next up, we have a detailed look at the Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 being called Yeezreal. Now, I believe the nickname is a play off of Israel. That's not confirmed, but it definitely matches up with the whole biblical theme. And this pair actually is nice. I do like this pair a lot, and they do somewhat resemble the Glow Yeezy 350 V2. They also feature black and gray across the prime knit upper, along with a neon green. Then we have what appears to be yellow across the stripe, and it's being reported that they'll have a glow in the dark outsole. Now, there isn't a specific release date for this pair, but they are expected to drop during December, and retail price will be 220. We got another first look at an upcoming Kyrie 6 colorway, and this pair is being called grand purple now if you take a closer look they feature deep purple suede across the upper and then on the ankle you can see Kyrie sing eye logo now it actually looks kind of creepy to me in addition we have a purple translucent midfoot strap crimson covering the hill counter and neon green on the insole branding finishing the look we have both red and green hits by the toe white and blue on the midsole and then a matching rubber outsole now a release date is not confirmed however it's possible that this pair will release on november 30th that's kind of the rumor for now and currently a retail price is unknown it should be around the 120 to 130 mark though we have official images and a release date for the upcoming nike lebron 17 lakers now this pair features knit posit across the upper and then if you look closely, there is both purple and yellow. They mix in for a unique design that covers part of the panels and wraps the heel. In addition, we have a backward swoosh that is done in white. On the insoles, it reads LeBron and it actually features the same Lakers font and completing the look is a white rubber outsole. So as for a release date, this pair is dropping on October 10th and the retail price will be 200. It looks like we have one more Nike Kyrie 5 releasing part of the SpongeBob SquarePants collection. And this pair is known as 
Pineapple House. Now, for anybody that's watched the cartoon, the shoe resembles that of the Pineapple House where SpongeBob and Gary the Snail live. On the base, we have the same pattern used on the pineapple, while the shroud is done in green, and then the swoosh across the side that is supposed to mimic the windows, and the speckle detailing on the midsole is for the sand. As of now, this pair is set to release on October 24th. That date could be pushed forward or back, and the retail price will be 130. Clot will have a couple of collaborations with Nike as well as Jordan brand, and here we have a first look at their collaboration with Nike on the Air Force One Low. This pair is being called Game Royal due to the colorway which features Game Royal white gum light brown. There's also another Air Force One releasing and that will come in rose gold, white, and gum light brown. So the rose gold pair has yet to be unveiled, but this pair features a silk material across the upper along with Chinese inspired patterns throughout. Other details includes a white midsole and a gum rubber outsole. So we only have a few images and I don't see any clot branding on it. However, that doesn't mean that they won't feature it. We just don't have the angles of it yet. And as far as release details go, this pair is expected to drop in October. A set date is unknown and the retail price will be 250. Since I lacked videos last week, one of the shoes I missed was the Nike Air Force One Low What The LA. This pair I really like and it actually resembles a What The theme, not like some of the stuff Nike and Jordan brand has put out in more recent years. But looking closer, they feature a mismatched look and they feature different materials like leather, both smooth and long hair suede and mesh. They also have LA branding by the heel, baseball seams on the medial side of the left shoe, a basketball textured leather on the medial swoosh on the right shoe, and a translucent outsole. So if you're wondering why this pair is being called What the LA, it basically combines all the colors from teams that are in the Los Angeles area. Now, for those that wanna grab this pair, they are set to drop on October 1st, and the retail price will be 130. We have a detailed look at Travis Scott's next Nike Air Force One Low to release, and this would be our best look yet. Now, it's a little bit different from the early on images that were showed. They feature a shroud on the laces, and that features a zipper. Also, you'll notice different designs as well as materials used throughout. To be honest, I'm not a huge fan of the shroud, but it looks like you can actually remove it, so that would be a positive for me at least. Now, as for the release date, I know some people have been asking about it. Originally, this pair was expected to drop in October, and now the new rumor is that they're going to release sometime in November. Now, it's possible they still drop in October. It still hasn't even hit October yet, but we should be finding out new information very soon, and the retail price will be 160. Celebrating its 10th anniversary, Nike will be releasing the Nike LeBron 7 red carpet. LeBron James first laced up the red carpet Nike LeBron 7 while playing for the Cleveland Cavaliers and against the New York Knicks. This took place at Madison Square Garden during November 2009. The Cavs went on to win 100 to 91. LeBron recorded 33 points, eight rebounds, nine assists and three steals. Now for the retro release, this pair will come dressed in white, black, glass blue and chilling red. The retro version is expected to be just like the original. They'll feature black woven on the panel, white leather on the overlays, both bright blue and red detailing throughout, and then a full length Air Max unit and a translucent outsole. So at the time of shooting this video, a release is set for October 29th, but Anytime a LeBron retro has released or about to release, the release date has changed multiple times. So I wouldn't be surprised if October 29th isn't the actual date it gets pushed around. But as of now, that's what it's looking like. And currently a retail price is unknown. On to Jordan brand and we have official images of the Air Jordan 34 bread. Now, to me, this really isn't a true bread release. I feel like there needs to be more black on this shoe, but that's what everyone's calling them, including Jordan brand. And this will actually be the second Air Jordan 34 to release. This pair I think should have released first. Jordan brand decided to drop the Blue Void pair 
that pair should have been second in my opinion. But for those that have been holding out on buying the Air Jordan 34 for this pair, they will drop on October 10th and the retail price will be 180. Dropping during the month of October is the first retro release of the Air Jordan 10 Seattle, AKA Seattle Supersonics. Now, prior to this detailed look, we only saw a few images here and there, not the best photos. So this will definitely be our best look yet. And I've also noticed that some have already gotten their hands on this shoe, but the shoes will come just like they did in 1995. They'll also feature Nike Air branding on the insoles, Jumpman on the heel, and outsole. On to the release info, this pair drops on October 19th and retail price will be 190. Now, I don't believe this pair will sell out first day, I personally think this pair is really dope. Not a lot of people like the Air Jordan 10. There's a good amount that do, but when the Air Jordan 10 Orlando released last year, they did sit for quite some time. So I'm thinking it's a possibility on the Seattle. Quick update on the Soulfly Air Jordan 10. Now the image shown is a Photoshop. It's unknown at this time how they'll look. I mean, obviously the people at Soulfly know, but they'll come dressed in velvet brown, black reflect silver and parachute beige currently there isn't a retail price however there is some new release information now a release date is rumored to take place on december 7th which is during art basil weekend more than likely this will be a limited release however once additional information is available that will go into the following news video coming soon will be another air jordan one satin now this pair doesn't only feature satin, it features leather as well. And when images first leaked of the shoe, many believed that it would be the pair releasing during January 2020, which comes dressed in a black metallic silver and gym red colorway. Now that color description doesn't match up with this shoe. So it looks like this will be a separate release. Now taking a closer look, they feature black throughout along with a combination of satin and leather. Following will have red used on the tongue label, wings logo, and laces. Finishing the look is a white midsole and black rubber outsole. Now this might be the first Air Jordan 1 satin that will be easily obtainable. That isn't confirmed. We don't know the specifics as far as the release information, retail price, how limited they are or aren't. And the only little bit of release information we do have is that they're expected to release either late 2019 or early 2020. As of late, there's been a lot of talk on the Air Jordan 13 Flint, and we were the first to confirm that this shoe would return in 2020. Shortly after that, Z Sneakerhead Z put out the specifics as far as the colorway, release date, and style number, as well as the price. With that being said, we're going to keep it short on this pair just because we've gone over it a few times. But what I will say is that they'll feature 3M reflective detailing and the shading will be a little bit darker just like the OG. So the images shown is the original release, not the 2020 retro. And as far as a release date goes, as of now, they're expected to drop on May 2nd, 2020. Like always, you guys know that since the date is so far in advance, that date could be pushed forward or back and the retail price will be 190. As most of you know, the Air Jordan 4 Black Cat will be making a return on February 22nd. Just the other day, we got a preview of what was at that time thought to be the 2020 Air Jordan 4 Black Cat release. It turns out that won't be the case. We'll still have the Air Jordan 4 Black Cat that we all know of drop during 2020. But the pair shown is actually a women's exclusive. And at first it was thought that this pair featured pony hair, but they actually come with bovine fur. As you can see, this pair features black throughout, and then following up on the whole black cat theme, we do have long hair used across the upper and most of the overlays and tongue. On the winged eyelets, we have a glossy finish, and what I thought was really unique for this shoe is that it features Nike Air branding on the heel. Typically on an Air Jordan 4 or Air Jordan 3, Nike Air only comes on OG colorways. There has been some exceptions like collaborations. So on this pair, it's a little bit different. I'm not mad at it, but it's just something I wanted to point out to everybody. 
and this is another shoe we don't have much as far as the release info they are either going to drop late 2019 or early 2020 and currently a retail price is unknown more than likely it's either going to be 200 or above i don't see this pair hitting at 190 but we should be finding out more information soon I know when images leaked and at the time that they leaked, a lot of people believe that this would be the 2020 Black Cat release. A lot of people were actually upset. So I wanna get your guys' opinion on the shoe. Do you like it or do you like the 2006 Black Cat? In 2020, it looks like Off-White and Jordan Brand will have a couple more collaborations. This time it'll be on the Air Jordan 5. That makes sense because 2020 is the 30th anniversary of the Air Jordan 5. So I started to ask around about these two potential releases and Jordan Brand just put in a sample request at one of the factories. So what I'm saying is it's not 100% guaranteed that the two or even one will release. But if I had to guess, we will be receiving a collaboration in 2020, at least one. A different individual, I guess, illustration mock-up of the release. From some people, I heard that this isn't going to be the colorway, but I don't know what the colorway is. And then from other people, they're saying that this will be what we're getting. Honestly, it's a bit confusing. I'm waiting on official details from my sources so I can let you guys know, but I wanna put it out there as far as what's being circulated as of now. But one thing is that the bottom pair looks like a brand new colorway. The top pair somewhat resembles the 2006 release of the Air Jordan 5, and that pair was either being called Stealth or Sport Royal, depending who you talk to. Now, the biggest difference between the 2006 release and this illustration is the 2-3 by the hill. Other than that, apparently they're going to come with those red off-white tags and then air in parentheses on the midsole. I'm sorry this information has to be so vague. There really isn't a lot of details out. And as of now, they are rumored to release sometime during 2020. But just to say once again, that isn't confirmed and act as if this is a rumor. Honestly, if they did release like this though, I wouldn't be mad. I actually think it's kind of cool, but let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And that recaps the news. Like always, we post it first on sneakerfiles.com and then we take it to YouTube. I apologize for the lack of videos last week. This week, I'm going to crunch all the news that I missed into this week as well as keeping up with all the current news as well. So you'll have pretty much everything. Also last week, I promised you guys a few leaks and I'm going to cover the leaks that I did last week in the next video, as well as provide one more leak. It'll be the Air Jordan 4. I know I promised you guys that last week and I do apologize, but there was an issue with the Photoshop. It wasn't exactly like the release was going to look like. So we had to make a few changes and it should be leaked tomorrow evening. As far as it being on sneaker files, you'll probably see it on Instagram. And then I'll go over the shoe more in the video uploaded on Tuesday. Like always, I appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't done so already, also appreciate a thumbs up. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe by hitting the red button below. Again, thanks for watching. Stay tuned to sneakerfiles.com. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.